Hey gang, welcome back. So Casey messaged me a couple days ago and said he'd like some help on learning how to figure out steel parts just from listening to it. Um, so, you know, picking out melodies, transcribing, whatever you want to call it. And it was actually pretty great timing because I've got to learn quite a few new songs for this uh, Waddy Morgan tour coming up. Got a new set list. Um, so this is one of the songs I'm having to learn, so I figured we'd learn how to uh, pick it out together. So it's uh, Wild and Reckless. Uh, Brett Robinson on steel. Um, so first thing, I want you to go listen to the song, just the first 10 seconds. Listen to it five, ten times. It's only about 10 seconds, so it'll just take you about three, three to five minutes. Um, just listen to it over and over again and try to formulate, try to memorize uh, the notes. So go do that, and I'll be right here when you get back. 2,000 years later. Okay, so you just listened to it uh, a few times. Let's listen to it together and um, do the first step. Okay, so it's not super complicated, um, but the first thing we wanna do is figure out what key the song is in, right? So let's start that over, listen to it again. There it is, that's the one chord. So now we just gotta figure out what that chord is, right? Da, da, da. There it is, right? And I was just picking, you know, pedals up open chords to figure out where that one chord is. Right there. So we know this song's in the key of A, right? All right, so part two is just figuring out the rest of the chord progression. We'll rewind it back. So we can hear there's a little walk up to a chord, and then it goes to the one. Da, da, da. Right, and you know, most likely these country songs, rock songs, are going to be some kind of one, four, five progression with some other chords thrown in. So I'm just going to check out my uh, my four and five chords. So in the key of A, right, that would be a D and an E. Da da da. Right, it's not D. Da 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 da. Right, that's my five chord, the E. There it is. Da da da. Da 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 da. So I know this intro goes from an E to an A, a 5 to a 1. Um, and then the other thing is that it does that little walk up into the into the 5. And so since it's chromatic, right, da, 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 all those notes are next to each other, I know it's going D, D sharp, E. So if I want to get real specific with it, it's... So now let's get to the notes themselves. Alright, so I can hear dyads, and that's two notes being played at the same time. And they're doing a chromatic walk up to the five, just like the chord progression is. Alright, so I've got two options, right, pretty much for dyads. It's either going to be three and five, or six and four, or, um, because I can hear that the notes are kind of far apart. If the notes were really close together, then it would be like either three and four, you know, six and five. But anyway, so we're walking a chromatic walk up to the E. So if we're trying, let's try it out on three and five, just because it sounds like kind of high notes. So if I was doing it from the pedals down position, right, it would be from fret five to seven. Alright, so let's check that against the song. So I can hear that this isn't quite high enough. So the next thing to check out is the pedals up D to E. Let's try that. That sounds pretty good to me. Let's listen back again. Yep, I think we nailed it. 
All right, so step one, we figured out what the key was. Step two, we figured out the chord progression. And now we're just kind of listening for, is it single notes? Is it dyads? How is it moving up the neck? So we knew it was dyads and we were moving up chromatically. So we just started from the beginning. Right, if that didn't work, we could have gone up even higher in the neck. And if it was something lower, right, we could have tried like strings six and four. Right, but I just knew that those were going to be too low, so I didn't need to bother checking those out. Especially not like six and ten, you know. Okay, so we got that first part down. So I'll go ahead and tab that out, and let's check out the next couple notes. Okay, so at that point, I can hear it go da 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 da, and the first part is dyads, and then there's also some single notes in there. So when I hear single notes, um, you want to think staying in the same position, changing strings, right? Because um, most likely, if we're playing single notes, we're not going. Right, because that's a lot of work. We're going to stay in the same position. 